we are going to be talking about benefits of waiting on the Lord. And specifically, we are going to be talking about protection. We will pick up from where we left last time, because last time we talked about waiting on the Lord and we talked about the, the, the quietness, the throwing away every distraction. We talked about the stillness, how that stillness precedes the revelation. We also talked about throwing away the sins that entangle. So it's on YouTube, you can have a listen. But now that you're talking about waiting on the Lord, uh, let's, I, I want us to be on the same page so that we know which, what we mean when we say waiting on the Lord. Because we are not talking about this one of like, you know, when you're waiting for someone and you're like, okay, they are, they are not coming, they are late, they are stuck in the jam or something like that. It's not that one. We are talking about entwining your heart with the, the Father's heart and just embracing that oneness. Because we know, even from Genesis, intimacy was God's idea from the very beginning. We were created for relationship, to relate with others, to relate with Him. We, are, we were created, He created us to, to, to be loved by Him and us to love Him. And so let's jump in and talk about protection. We are looking at Psalms 91. Because Psalms 91 lays clearly the benefits of being, you know, in the presence of the Lord, and more, more so about protection. And it says, when you abide, and this abide, this word, simply means just staying or remaining there. Some other translation will tell you when you dwell. And dwell really means taking up a permanent residence. Some other translation will talk about, you know, the sweet and the secret place. And so this one says, now when you are bind under the sh a shadow of Shaddai, and when you look up this word Shaddai, it's a root, uh, Hebrew root word, which also means, means uh, God, the self-sufficient one. The God who just has everything in it. The God who will not need your permission or your power or your help. That's the kind of God we serve. It also means God the God Almighty, the one who has the might and the power in his hands, the one who there's nothing difficult for him to do. It also means, and this was interesting for me, God, the nurture of babies. You know, you may want to think or say maybe babies are nurtured by their moms, but those moms, they are protected by God. So it also means God, the destroyer of enemies. And so God, you don't want to be the enemy of God. You don't even want to be my enemy because God is the destroyer of enemies. And so when you are under, under this, under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of Most High. And so you are saved. Psalms 27 tells us that he is our light, our strength, our salvation. And so we are preserved. Even if the enemy came to devour us, they will fall flat on their faces because we are protected and they cannot stand his presence. I, 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 you know, by the time Psalms 27 and 9, 9, 91 they were being written, maybe the enemies of that time, they were different from the enemies we have today because sometimes they will be going to war, they will be going for battle and that kind of a thing. But today, whether that enemy we can see or we cannot see, the Lord is the one who protects us, even protects us from dangers we cannot see sometimes even i mean there is danger almost everywhere but the lord is the one who protects us even when you're crossing the road we are driving on the road you could be knocked i mean the lord protects us i was actually knocked one day but i am here talking to you why because the lord because the lord protected me and so he's the one who protects us even from those unseen, unseen dangers, unseen enemies. He is our Lord. The Lord uses and he has many, you know, means of protecting us. He has many, many resources. He can't run out of, you know, means and resources. He uses angels as well. Exodus 23:20. 20. See, I'm sending an angel ahead of you to guard you. This guard is also to protect you. On, on your way, along the way, and to bring you to the place I have prepared. 
Pay attention to him and listen to what he says. Do not rebel against him. He will not forgive your rebellion, since my name is in him. As in any, whatever he says, just imagine, just begin to think I'm the one who is saying it. Whatever he does, I am the one who is doing it because he has my name. If you listen carefully or, or, or to what he says and do all that what he says, I will be enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. What a promise of protection. Psalm uh, 91 verse 3, he will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy. Some traps, you don't even know they are traps. Sometimes I hear people say something like, oh, I had a headache and that headache disappeared. No, it did not disappear. The Lord healed you. The Lord healed you. Even when you didn't know it was going to, how it was going to turn out, but the Lord protected you. And he's always there protecting us. And he will protect us even from false accusations and even from deadly curses. He will protect us from those poisonous arrows. Psalms 91 talks about angels. And the Lord has sent special angels. He's given the orders to protect us wherever we go, defending us from all harm. We will walk into a trap, but they will be there to keep us from stumbling. And that's our God. And so even as I conclude, even as I finish this, I want you to listen to this promise of, to protect you. And that is in the first 14. Because you have loved me, because you have waited on me, because you have delighted in me, and I've been loyal to my name, I will greatly protect you. So that great pro protection, it's just not protection, but it's great protection, which comes as a result of you having waited on him, delighted in him, as according to verse 14. He says, I will answer your cry for help every time you pray, and you will feel in, in, in my presence. In your time of trouble, I will deliver you and bring you honor. I will satisfy you with the, with the full life and with all that I do for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. And so my dear listener, whatever you're facing, just know you're not alone. Call on him, wait on him, Dwell, 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 dwell. Shalom. Let's pray. And Father, we thank you for your protective presence, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for your arm around us. Thank you, Father, for your assurance that with you, in you, we are safe and secure. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you.